Welcome to Ultimate Survival Gear. Today I have a review of another Arc'teryx product and this is Arc'teryx Proton Insulated Jacket Review. Now this jacket used to be Proton LT but because of how popular the LT model has become Arc'teryx decided to make it into a main Proton line and rightfully so because this jacket is pretty impressive. I had an opportunity to take it on multiple adventures including alpine style fit in Colorado Rockies, some climbing here at Red River Gorge, some hiking, trail running all over the place, as well as wearing it pretty much on a daily basis. So in this review I will tell you all about the comfort, durability, performance features and everything else needed for you to decide whether or not you want to spend $350 on this jacket. Yes. So, let's start with the comfort level. Arc'teryx Proton is definitely the most comfortable jacket I have ever had, hands down. Completely differently. Yes, the material is extremely soft and pleasant to the touch and you can wear this jacket really over anything you want and still be comfortable, but the main factor that contributes to the comfort level here is the weight of the jacket. And it is so lightweight, I was actually about to send it back to Arc'teryx when I first received it. Yes, picked up the package and I thought, no way this jacket can be so light. Arc'teryx must have sent me something else. Then I opened the package, took out the jacket and thought, no way this can be possibly keep me warm ever. <laughs> then I put it on. And I thought, well, this looks great, but no way this will keep me warm on out in the mountains. Long story short, it performs better than anything else I, I have ever had or came across at an unreal weight of only 14 ounces. But we will discuss performance in details later. But as far as the comfort goes, you will not be disappointed. Okay, performance. How cold can you go? Well, Proton features core loft compact 80 synthetic insulation and internet claims that you can go as low as zero fahrenheit with this proton jacket personally the lowest temperatures i used this jacket in was 20 fahrenheit and i can definitely attest that you could go lower but as long as you are moving and staying active with that being said, on your alpine adventures, while you are on your approach trail, you can go low. I was in the low 20s, it was windy, it was snowing, and while I was moving, I was good. Being static, however, is a different story. So again, on your alpine adventures, while you're climbing or during your breaks, anything below 25 degrees, in anything other than perfect conditions, I would recommend another layer. Obviously, belaying or rappelling down, you would want another layer since you are mostly static. Honestly, temp ratings are a gray area in general and varies heavily from person to person. But to make it easier, if you plan something active, hiking, trail running, etc., you can go lower with less. If your plans are more stationary, fishing, bird watching, something else, that is stationary, definitely consider more for warmth. Proper layering is extremely important, so start with quality merino wool base layer and then build up from there. Okay, let's talk about my favorite part about this jacket, the features. Arc'teryx Proton was developed specifically for the climbing adventures. That's one of the reasons it is so lightweight, but it is also, as you noticed, very streamlined and well-fitting. There's nothing that is pointlessly flapping around, nothing unnecessary. The pockets are designed to be accessible while climbing. The hoodie can be used while wearing a helmet. The sleeves are tapered in order to prevent anything catching on the rock while climbing. And of course, the very convenient no-slip zip, <laughs> main zipper, that's what they call it. Main zipper for quick access, whatever essentials you can think about putting in there. Another feature that I wanted to mention here is breathability of this jacket. You warm up very quick in it, especially if you are active. And yet you do not overheat. 
The breathability of Arcteryx Proton allows for the excess body heat to escape, which is fantastic. Okay, let's move on to durability and proofing. So, this jacket is not waterproof. It's water resistant and bushwhacking around in the forest in the snow while snowing, I stayed completely dry. But I would definitely recommend a quality rain shell or a GTX hard shell, depending on the nature of your adventures, of course. If it is not too cold, I always bring my Black Diamond Stormline rain shell jacket. Check it out, it's a great option for a rain shell. I'll put the backcountry link in the description below. It folds into itself, so you can just clip it on the outside of the backpack without taking any of the valuable space. Okay, back to Arcteryx Proton. Durability. I almost sent it back. <laughs> no way I thought this super soft, thin, light material can possibly survive a climb. Well, it did survive quite a few of them already and some pretty rough ones. On my last climb, I had to crawl through a crack, my whole body being in the crack. I had to use my shoulders, elbows, everything in order to move up. And there was a lot of scratching on the rock. And this proton jacket, not only there is not a tear on it yet, at least, there is not a scratch. Oh yes, add this one to features. The dirt is extremely easy to clean off this jacket, which is a huge plus because if you do use this jacket for full potential, you will be getting dirty. But back to durability. Fortuse Air 20, that's the magic fabric that Arcteryx uses to make Proton Jacket, which is one of the things that add quite a bit to the cost of this jacket. And let's move to the next one since we started. And the price tag, $350. It is quite hefty price tag, yes indeed. Is it worth it? It depends. If you want something comfortable, warm, durable, stylish, high quality overall, and you're okay spending money on quality, you will not be disappointed. Just make sure not to send it back under your first impression. <laughs> Give it a chance. But if you love outdoors, if you spend time outdoors having adventures or doing work and you need top of the line, best of the best, something that will perform, I highly recommend trying out Arcteryx Proton. There was this moment not too long ago, I was climbing up one of the Finally. Colorado Fortuners and the conditions were beautiful. The sun was shining, there was no wind. But I had a late start and by the time I was getting up to the ridge line, the sun has already set behind the neighboring peak. And once I actually made it to the ridge line, I was mad with this jet stream of a freezing wind. I had to make an emergency outfit change. But as soon as I put on the Proton jacket, I was glad I had it with me and I had it in general and almost immediately from freezing I went to comfortable and totally doable going further and continuing the climb. So hopefully you found this review helpful. If so, please consider subscribing for more outdoor gear reviews. I have a review of Wild Country Flow Climbing Harness coming up next, but for now, thanks for watching, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.